Good morning. Okay, been a couple of days since I recorded. Um, a couple of days ago, I had my uh, first COVID jab uh, when I would have been recording, so that was going to happen. Um, and then yesterday, um, I was still uh, suffering in the morning um, from like the fever and stuff that I had the night before. So I was up a bit late. Um, so, but uh, feeling much better today. Um, so uh, let's get cracking. Um, last time uh, I was doing some testing um, and I probably will carry on doing that. So what we're going to do, I guess we're going to buy up go land. See where we were at. Okay, so, so far we've created um, a little hello world test, a ping test, test of the login in the happy path, um, and a test of login failures, and we got all that working last time. Um, so now we need to start looking at some of the other API endpoints to give a little test, um, and I think we'll... Um, We'll start, uh, let's see, let's start with um, add go, I guess. Yeah. So, so the, the happy path here is that we are going to validate the token. So that's going to do a little query in there, I expect, that we can test. Um, and so we're going to have to mock up um, the results for that. And then we're going to have um, a transaction starting. Then we're going to create a goal. Um, in add goal, we also have measurements. Um, so there's going to be a measurement created within that transaction. Um, and then we're going to commit it and get a response. So it's quite a bit of work here. Um, we'll see how whether I can get all those test bits done today, but we'll have a go. So let's think. Let's do a bit of red green testing then. So we're going to start off with the basics here. Uh, what we'll do. We're going to Yeah, we'll take well, let's do actually we'll probably want to do happy path. So we'll start off with well, let's take a copy of the test login. And then we'll um, pick it up. So test add goal. We'll do the normal setup. Mocks, get a config, create a server. Um, now we're not going to be doing password stuff here. Um, we're going to be doing token stuff. So we will be looking for what we what we will get in here, a token date. Given a member ID and the token that we got from the login. Okay. So we'll need to dummy up the parameters for that. Which we will be using these, I guess. So what we'll do. Oh, that's quite good, actually, though. We don't need to actually know the token. Cool, 
token date. Um, that's basically an expiry date. Um, so date. Let's see. Um, we can just create something that's in the future, I guess. Have we done any date stuff yet? I don't think we've done any. Um, no. Let's uh, just nab some stuff from the API. Nah, we'll just create one. Yeah. Okay, we'll create a date. We'll add that. So we will have uh, date is equal to time dot now. And that gives us a, what does that give us? Time. And then we want to convert that to, is it R? I have to do a format thing, don't I? Can I just do ISO? No. Oh, actually, I want to do UTC to make sure. Can I do an uh, add? I wonder what that does. Duration, okay. Hold on a minute, I've got code for this somewhere. I can take some of that. Yeah. That's all I need. That'll do. Stick it in the right format, which is time dot RFC blah. Okay, and then we're just going to return that. So the rest of the stuff I guess we can come that out for the moment. So we only want to test the test runs. Go monitor add go. And we're passing it in a whole bunch of stuff now. So this is going to get interesting. 
there's, there's a lot of values going in now. Um, okay. Can I do this? Or is it going to complain? see what happens. I'm not sure how the uh, string formatting will be passed. Um, let's see, we're going to be passed in for sure a token string. We don't really care what it is. Um, did we have a, no, we never came up with a returned version. Cause we don't really care cause we're not actually going to use it. For the moment. Let's change that to because <clears throat> so I might change that up later. Uh, we don't need a password, what we do need is a member ID. And we've got one of them. Okay, that's like nothing of it, but we'll see what happens. We should get failures here. So is true, blah, blah, blah. What are we expecting back? We're expecting back a goal ID. Um, and we're going to need to Gonna have to mock that up. So that'll be empty for the moment. I'll have to do some sort of um extra validation at some point to make sure that even though I don't know what's gonna come back as the goal ID, because it's also generated from the database. In theory. I guess I can override that. I'll have those, I can reply. Anyway, I can sort that out in a minute. Um, let's see, okay. Yeah, token string should actually be returned as well. We'll leave that. Okay, so that's like the bare minimum there. We've got um, setting up the server. Uh, we're going to assume that a token date is grabbed for validation. And then other things are just going to fail for the moment. And we'll just give that a quick run to make sure it fails, I think. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, 
I'm going to think one in. Okay. Um, anyway. Let's do go test minus V. Yep, okay. Now we're getting token SQL scan error, blah, blah, blah. Name token date unsupported scan story driver. Value type string into type. Ah, okay. That's interesting. So the date should come back as a time. So it doesn't come back as a string. Okay. So in that case, I really don't care. What? Where's the thingy? I knew there was an any something or other. Any arc. That's not what I want. Okay. Well, I don't care, do I? I? All I actually need... Oh, I can keep it as the date. I just need to make sure I don't convert it to a string. That should do that. Great. Cool. That's good. Okay, so we're definitely getting a time back. And then we're failing where we expected. Because... Uh, I ain't going to satisfy its requirements at the moment. Okay. So we expect a transaction to happen. We're going to be doing an insert to goals. And what we, what's the query? Lots of stuff. Okay. And we're getting back an ID. Created that and updated that. Okay. So, the member ID, that will be same as there. Oh, stop it. Urgh. Verb. 
Right, so this is where we can make up our goal now. So uh, let's do the classic. Way. Or should we do wibble? Yeah. yeah. Let's make it something that's. Not going to be uh, for reals. Value. There should be a number of some sort. So let's do 10. Prefix, we're going to have blank. Suffix, we'll just have times. Um, and the end date we need to make up again. So that needs to be an actual date again, doesn't it? Um, we could probably just reuse... Actually, I won't reuse because I want to make sure it's a date rather than a full-on time. Don't want any hours, minutes, seconds, really. So I will create a different type of Create a different one, so just quit and day equals uh, let's see what's yeah, must all right, so I can do that time date. Is it just all the usuals? Yeah, so year, month, day. Do I have to give everything? Apparently so. Year, month, day. Hour, minute, seconds, nanoseconds. Okay. So we'll base it off of the uh, token date. So we'll do DT dot I wouldn't get away with. Can I do that? Well, it looks like I might be able to just take dt dot date. We'll see what that does. Does it not like that for some reason? Huh. All right, so I've got a... Okay. Hmm. 
year, month, day. And then we've got hours, minutes, seconds, nanoseconds, location, time, dot, dc. Okay. And the reason test or okay. Now we need to create a result. Actually, it's a rose, isn't it? Just reuse. Let's see what happens. How? Things a bit screwed up. There we go. So now we just need to reset those rows to something we're going to use. So should get an ID um, to create it at and update it at And then we're going to have a goal ID, which we can just make up. So let's just 
grab one. Actually, it's even easier, isn't it? Wibble, there we go. That's the one. And we need the date again, so just create it on the fly this time. Time now dot TC. Just again then. So what should happen is it should pass until it gets to that commit because that will be unexpected. Well, because there will be another insert in theory before that. But we're not passing in all the info we need here, so it might go bang before then. So let's see what happens. I wonder what it did come back with. We'll see. Okay, so now we kind of need to do the same thing again, but for measurements. So, what do we get back? Same again. And we're passing in goal ID, value, date taken, and notes. Okay. Value, okay. Let's do that then. So, in theory, we are passing in that. Value, or we'll do a zero this time. Uh, we've got a date taken, which will be time dot now UTC. And notes. OK, 
Okay. And the expected result has a different ID. It's probably something we should test, actually. Um, and the date and time can be the same, that's fine. That's a good point. Why were those pass? Why was the tests passing? Oh, because I'm not testing the. The SQL. Mm. I might switch that up so that I test the um, the SQL expectations before I look at the results. Because at the moment I'm not getting here because the actual API is not working as expected. Mm. Well, I'll give this a quick run. Okay, and let's see if um, this makes any difference. Cool. There is a remaining expectation which is not being matched. Expect to begin. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess that's good. So I'm presuming that um, validation is happening and failing. Maybe. A little bit opaque actually on that, isn't it? So why? So we're going to have a little issue there because I can't test the SQL because I want to see I want to make sure that I don't get a result 
that includes the authentication error. Hmm. So I have to go back to bin it afterwards. How do I do the reverse of that? See what that does. It'll be interesting to see what is actually in the returned payload in the test. Is there a way to Is there a way to just print out more info? Um, let's see. Log. Okay, so I can just do that then. Try that. Let's see. I think there is probably a good idea. I'll do it there. Um, am I using T, aren't I? Yeah. So T dot log. W body string. And in theory, that will show up because I'm using minus v. There we go. That's interesting. Uh, 
Ah. Case, of course. And I got that stuff. I forgot to put this saved um, response value. That'd be handy, actually. Okay. So this should be lowercase. There's no spaces between the two, the key and the value. So I should get failure on that line now. Yeah. Okay. Right, invalid authentication token. Why? I'm mocking that. <laughs> okay, so I expect to return a date. Which is in the future. So why does the validate of the token not work? Okay, all right. I don't want to do that anymore. I'll test that on failures. When I do my failure test, I'll test that and fix that up then because I need to do a uh, no rose found thing. So where are we failing at the moment? Ah, uh, token. I need to actually generate a valid token, of course. It's going to be a pain in the butt. As you run the tests, that token's going to change. Oh, I could just use that, can't I? <laughs> okay, so I just need to generate a token string. on the fly for my date. Okay, that's fine. All right. So
Again, let's fix some of these things up then. So I need to make that. Um, token date. And then I need to make a token string. Because I'm going to need it. Um, and that's going to be the member. Let's take the member out as well then. Start um, Token date in the format. Oops. Okay. And then we're going to pass that in. That token string is going to be used when we call the service. Okay, how do I embed? <laughs> how do I embed a variable in that format of string type thing then? Um, you don't know. So, presumably, okay, well, I need to somehow get that in there as a variable. I don't know how to do that. Um, Let's find out. It's not the format strings I want to use. Yeah, but can I do that? with the kind of long form here doc type thing I'm using. Hmm. 
Mm, there's no examples of that. It's all printy type stuff. The normal quotes. I'll have to look at the docs. Okay. It might be easier if I just actually build a proper JSON object and pass it in and stringed. Okay. Let's try a couple of things then. So let's let's see if I can do this. And in theory, I will probably need to do that. Could be that easy, I guess. Huh. Okay, so we've now got, in theory, we have a member ID, token date, token string, passing in a token date into the query that looks for one. We're then creating a goal, which returns a new goal ID and dates, uh, passing in the member ID, uh, a end date that we're creating on the fly-ish, and we're getting back that goal ID. Then we're going to create a measurement. Expect to commit. Positive token string and not enough data. Oh, the member ID we can pass in as well. Then 
then we call in the server. We expect a good response. We're going to log the response. And we hopefully do not get an authentication error. And we hopefully get a goal and a token string, but we're probably not going to. Okay. Hello, what? How does string wibble does not match actual? Oh. Weird. Weird response there. Don't get it. So also that query incentive goals, remember ID. So match argument one expected string that what does not match actual string. I'm not sure how that's even possible. I'm passing in a member ID. Eh, running out of time again. Um, okay. Insert the goals. I wonder if it's because I need to handle it, handle the member ID. Hmm. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I may need to be a little bit more careful. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe it's the string interpolation isn't working. Oh, 
although it got past. Got past the token. Here's a quick little thing. Does this break it? Nope, same problem. That's confusing. That's correct. Six, seven, the same. Yeah, I don't know where that's coming from at the moment. I'm totally out of time. Okay. Yeah, all right, well, got to um, head off to my meeting. So uh, that's me stuck halfway through that test. Um, I'll have to investigate why that's... I presume I need to handle the UID better. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, until next time, take care.